Well, it's more than just making beautiful blankets. It's sharing an ancestral tradition to make sure it is not forgotten. And tonight's Telling Alaska Story, RN Anna Bureau introduces us to a woman recognized for her contribution to her community and her culture for more than three decades. Anna Brown Ellers was born and raised in Juneau. Both of my parents are from Klukwan, Alaska, in the heart of the Chilkat Valley. From a very young age, she was always intrigued with Chilkat weaving. It's a love of your culture and your people. Ellers remembers the first time she saw a Chilkat blanket. She was four. My uncle Roy Brown was wearing a Chilkat blanket and a carved frontlet, which is called the Chukyat in the 4th of July parade. And from that moment, I wanted to uh, make Chilkat blankets. Determined to master how to make one, she started learning from other Chilkat blanket weavers. I ended up working with Jenny Clanat, who was uh, 92 at the time, and she was best friends with my dad's mother. So I saw her weaving when I was a child. Uh, she would stay at my grandmother's house when she came down to Juneau. So, um... I was always intrigued with it. Chilkat weaving is a traditional ancient art form indigenous to the native people of Southeast Alaska. It says who you are in the tribe, whether you're a raven or an eagle, a frog or a wolf or a killer whale. And um, our society is matriarchal. So um, you follow your mother's tribe and you marry the opposite tribe. One of the most complex weaving styles, it requires mountain goat wool and yellow cedar bark, which is collected in the springtime. I would say it takes about um, four to five months to prepare the yellow cedar bark and spin it wow. with the mountain goat wool, and then uh, about a year to uh, weave the blanket. Ellers has spent more than 30 years perfecting her craft, taught hundreds of people the art of Chilkat weaving, and received numerous awards. It takes a lot of heart and soul, you know, to carry on in this tradition. Still, she has no plans of stopping as it keeps her connected to her culture. For Telling Alaska's Story, Ariane Aaron Bureau, Alaska's News Source. In May of 2023, Ellers was recognized by the University of Southeast with an honorary doctorate of fine arts during the commencement ceremony, something she's grateful for, but never actually expected to happen, she says.